But now on the ATV, our Rose is stuck in a wee battle, so she is. And I'm not just talking about the Daleks and Cybermen, no. For you see, her dad's come back to life. Oh, and, no. Well, no, it's not really her dad. Like, he's from a parallel world, so he is. So she's going to have to work out, is she going to go with her man, her fake dad, or is she going to stay with the doctor? And Doctor Who. Hey. I swear to fuck, if he actually was doing that every episode, I would fucking record that shit. Make it like but now on the UTV. <laughs> Why is Doctor Who on the UTV? It doesn't make sense. Do you understand that? You are smart. You can be our friend. If you don't, no. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs>
the like whenever they notice the doctor. Yeah. And, uh, and Rose has that line because they all back away and she goes, Ah, oh, yeah, whole pile of Cybermen. Can't be our mate. But one doctor. Ha! Uh, now you're, you're cacking your Dalek panties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, of course, the bitch fight of Canary War. That's brilliant. This is Siri versus Google. <laughs> yeah. No, this is Siri versus Bixby. Fuck Bixby! <laughs> I love it. You are better at dying. Oh, it's no, it's a line. We have five billion Cybermen. How many do you have? Four. four. You would kill five billion Cybermen with four. No. We would kill, kill one it. billion Cybermen with one, darling. Ah, you are better. You are superior in only one respect. What What's that? is that? You are better at dying. Bitch, please. Oh. Biff, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> Dude, this was Onan before Onan was a thing. Yeah. I, like, I even loved when the scene and like the end of these outline are inferior Cybermen. I did love. Now this is something another people people thinking is, oh well, they're part of Cybermen. How the fuck do they know about the Daleks? They don't. They scanned them, and when the Dalek mentioned its name, they went, "You've designated as Dalek." When they scanned the Dalek, they're like, "Oh, your technology is like us. You could actually yeah. join us." That's so that has been. Bullshit for years. Yeah. I've like, oh my god, everyone's like, no, no, they know them. How? That moment made me go, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, this is gonna be a yeah. one-sided bastard fight. When that Dardic shot the two of them and they died, it's like, this is a one-sided fight. Yeah, it's bullshit. Why? But of course, the Doctor worms his way in, and like, I love how he makes his own little peace like flag, his little white flag. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, yes, I surrender myself unto you. Now, lads here. There's these couple of dickheads downstairs, right? And they're uh -huh. really gonna fuck with your shit. Uh -huh, yeah. So you gotta get down there and blow them fuck up. Uh -huh. I'll go in as a distraction, yeah. right? Right, yeah, uh -huh. right. And then whenever I give the magic word, which means I'll take my screwdriver and blow up a door, oh, right. then you'll come in. Why have you got a screwdriver and blows up a door? Mind, right, right, okay, yeah. Uh, that's irrelevant. Oh, okay. But the important thing yeah. is that you come in and blow the shit out of them, right? Right. Okay. And we won't die. No, we definitely won't die. We, we, we can't yeah, be, we'll beat the fuck out of them. The dead. Yeah, come on, you're the side man. Yeah. You're a perfect design. Fuck yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was brilliant. Like, yes, it gave them a couple of minutes of a fighting thing where the door's like, yeah. fuck me, the gun's fucked, and they run around. Yeah. Go. This line did not hold up, and it caught me off guard. It's made out of polycarb. Fuck off, it's Dardic Canyon, you dopey prick. Dickhead, it's Dardic Canyon. Holy carbide. Yeah, no, it's not bullshit. He should have went Dardic Canyon. Yeah. Doctor Who just know its own Doctor Who logic. That nah, fuck. What the fuck? Leave it be at this point, I'd say. The episode's far too Oh, for and that line that's that still stuff. to this day is like, Tenant, you should have never, ever, ever said that line. Because that was ruined ever since. Ah, throat screwdriver doesn't, doesn't kill, kill, doesn't kill, doesn't mean I tell you what it's good, it do opens the door. Not relevant. Uh, except if they're wood doors. And yes it does. They, they tried to make them steal. <laughs> Clearly tinfoil. Oh, it's worse than tinfoil, it's just jam. Yeah. <laughs> it's just black jam. paper bags. So what there was Dardic Thea, Dardic Khan, what was the other one? Sec and Jast. Jast. All this mayhem going on. Dardics are assignment or shooting one another. Mickey's just like Trying to get away, gets yeah. trotted by a Cyberman, lands on the on the Ark of the Covenant, yeah. and basically goes ah, about my hand. And then I love the darks like Cyberman completely con. This brilliant darks are supreme. It doesn't matter. That's great, lads. But the arcs are activated. It needs room to, to do something. Yeah. All this time, I said before at the end of the last review is I thought this was da da was was Davros, Davros yeah. because of one line. Genesis the Genesis Arc. Arc. I was like, yeah. Genesis Arc. Davros. Yeah. He didn't die. This is it. This is it. Uh. <laughs> it's just a shitload of Alex. Uh, which is good. Yeah. I like that. CGI is a little bit ropey, but... They queef them out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> fucking Daleks, you want them? Here, some I was waiting for one to come out and just smack that fucker. The one that the dog yeah, is putting yeah. next to them up. Ah oh, man, but I wouldn't have been so, so cool if it was Davros. With a few Daleks. I don't know, I don't know. Because um, obviously like you're in the middle of a war, like you're trying to take over the planet and stuff. I, I, I would have expected something new. 
like maybe a new type of Dalek or or something. Because they led the the arc, even that that one shot where like when like the the Daleks are moving the arc out and it shows yeah. like one piercing blue light. It's like shit. That actually is a Dalek. Like why? Yeah. Like, like what if it's like a big ancient Dalek? I love that they tie it all back into Pete's world. Yes. Well, like, and they even get like Jake back and everything. And that was a nice wee thing. Yeah, it's like kind of cool. And and that they 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 actually were smart. And they stormed their own torch when <laughs> brought it down years ago. Yes, they did. So that was pretty clever. And Another cool. thing I did enjoy with that one too, and they didn't have to do it, but they did it, and I love them for it. Was they said that we did we did what you did, what you wanted to do. We talked down the Cybermen, but we locked them up. Yeah. And the government. Let you sat and argued that they're human, that we should help them, maybe we can reconvert them. And all that time they left them alone and someone's like Here, unit one nine nine. Yes. What that? I have a fist. Uh -huh. What if I hit this wall? Will it break? Bang! Oh. No guns have been shot at us. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Boom, the fact that the, the storm torch would big giant hole, the anus as it is, yeah. and they're like should we follow this? Well, here, if we go that way, we're dead. Yeah. If we so go that way, we should to survive. The devil's yeah, off they yeah. go. Yeah. And and I did like that because it was a nice bit of explanation. They didn't have to do that, but they yeah. did. And I like that. And I like that uh, Pete Tyler's been in on it as well. Like, he didn't just bugger off back to his mansion and drink nope. himself stupid. Like, he's been working with Mickey and Jake and everyone else. You're making this, like, little, like, but they're not even called Torchwood. Like, they're the band. No, they're the band of bastards. Band of bastards. <laughs> <laughs> And, and like the, they even get like torture technology to holly hop, as I would call it, yeah, across, right, across yeah. the universe. I was like, that's pretty it's good. A little dimension jump button. Yeah, it's like makes boop. a vortex manipulator look like a TARDIS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and on top of that, as well, we get the reunion scene. The reunion scene between Pete and Jackie. <laughs> oh, I actually love this. Yeah. I, I think the way this is done is fantastic because you've Jackie cornered, and they shoot the two Cybermen. And knock them out. So you create the smoke, and through the haze, the two see each other, and it's played so real. I love Jackie's line. No, why yeah, him? They, That's they not fair. They said there was ghosts. Yeah. yeah, you're dead. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pete Tyler, I remember you when you were dead. <laughs> what? What a fucking line to come out with. Dude, the Doctor's is just cruel in this episode. It's brilliant, yeah. So cruel. You're dead, back home. You're dead. <laughs> I love it. You're dead. I love it. No blows, no fucking yeah. comfort, Get you're dead. Fucked. I like they like they, they acknowledge the fact that we're not the same people. Like they you're can't. not you're not my Jackie, you're not my Pete. But the, it's it's a love man, it doesn't matter, like yes, yeah. you know, you're cyber you're one gun into, into Cyberman, you got hit back your heart. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's yeah, just, just reunite. And it, it it just goes to show like that's that's your soulmate. It doesn't matter what universe they're from. Yeah. You still fall in love with them, they're still your other half. See that's the thing about Torchwood in this iteration. It is kinda shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, really, when you think about it, it's it's like a shit version of uh, Unit. Yeah, even it's worse. It's completely defunct. Tortured are meant to be these big army of alien technology. Yeah, like they should have like all the super weapons. Because like, we saw it in the Christmas special. They had the Death Star laser. Where was that? Oh, but they them they explained that they only had one one shot. That was it. Oh, for fuck's so sake. literally, see that big moonbeam thing? That was their their, their cannon that just went bleh. Class. So I was like, "Well, that's fucking you, useful, isn't you've it?" You've hyped the Torchwood people because, like, you've yeah. got unit that are badass that have been blowing aliens' asses for years. Yeah. And then you've got these dark, mysterious ones. You're like, "Oh my God, they're better than <laughs> unit, nah, man. They're fucking terrible." <laughs> it's just fucking this terrible. It's fucking terrible. Yeah. It's like, oh. it's like unit. Hey, that's pretty good, Torchwood. That's, that's fucking, fucking terrible. terrible. So bad. Yeah. Oh, I could just think of shit particles all over. He's like, I, I, I farted so much that the shit's all around me, and I'm like, oh, get it away. It's so bad. I haven't charred in months. <laughs> oh. Rose's ultimate goodbye and how she leaves the show is good, and it's done really well, except for one glaring plot hole. Oh. The TARDIS. Right, so the doctor puts on his 3D glasses and he goes, You've got AIDS, you've got AIDS, you've got AIDS, you've got cancer, you've got AIDS. But basically, you've all, all got AIDS, right? <laughs> and you've got, you got the weird space jam all over you. Mm -hmm. 
So he says, if I turn on the magic jam machine, it's going to suck all the Daleks and Cybermen through it, but anyone else is covered with space aids. <laughs> get sucked into the hole. Yeah, we we'll, we'll all zenith. get sucked into the, the space aids hole, right? So, clearly the TARDIS would be covered in space aids as well. Yes, but forgetting that the TARDIS is a big heavy thing and it, it, it sunks itself that into the ground. Matter. No. It should get sucked in because no, it turns way, itself it's off. It's not a big heavy thing either because, like the, you see in the last episode, it gets put on the back of a truck and carried away. Yeah, but they put some magnets on it. Aye, yeah. the hell with that. <laughs> Bullshit. Why it's not just put rows into the TARDIS? There's more plot holes in this as well. well like, like for example, the leader of unit, or not unit, god damn it, unit, <laughs> Torchwood, Torchwood, gets converted. Yeah. So they shouldn't have space aids. Anything, anyone who, who's converted on Earth shouldn't have it. But surely the, the Cybermen would have brought the, the c conversion technology through with them and that would have the space aids on it. I think so. So it's technically it's infecting all the new Cybermen that they make. Possibly, I, but I still have this, the thing is they, the, the, like, well if you think about it, the glass the case, then when we see Unit again and we see the Dark Archive, him, there's parts of Cybermen that were in the Canary Wharf situation. So yeah. this shouldn't, shouldn't all have been, even the bodies and everything should have been taken by Torchwood, even the, the series Torchwood fucks that up too. Yeah, because we have, have Cyber, Cyber Woman. Woman. Yeah. So it made me think. Well, they're not all gone yeah. because you you're pulling. No one's ever really yeah, gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you are actually killing a, a complete character, like a cyber creatures away. If you if they're all sucked into the void, yeah. there's no Cyber. Yes, I know that there's Cybermen in, in our universe, universe as well. But it I'm talking about especially the same. They just don't have little don't, yeah, logos just, on the Yeah, chests. it's just it's lazy, lazy, lazy. That voice though. Yeah, and then the fucking tear. The tear. The oily tear. Fuck me. Because that's the last thing was going through her head when she's been converted. Yeah. I did love that though with uh, Yvonne Hartman. Where she was like, I did my duty for Queen of Country. Her last thought in her head and it messed up the conversion to that scene. Yeah. That broke me. Because you know what, for years she always like, why have the Cybermen got that tear? Here you go. Yeah. That's she, the tear. She cries oil. It's yeah. so dark. And it makes sense too because as she's mid-conversion, they do the whole thing because Jackie's supposed to be next. Oh, you can hear. But they, they, yeah, but they do the whole thing where it's like, okay, you're now being upgraded to Cyber Leader. So clearly that's messed with the conversion machinery. So her emotional inhibitor doesn't work properly or something like that? Uh, dude, that was some dark scene. That actually still gets me to this day. Yeah. Like, yes, she goes in and she gets converted, right? That's it. But when Jackie's next and they're just converted, you can still hear her scream. I was yeah. like, that's fucked up. <laughs> it's so dark. And then she goes back to Because literally what they must be doing is just like, Putting the, the old pizza cutter around the skull. I don't think lifting that. the brain out. I think this is like an emergency conversion. So, so it's just it's, like tearing it's, the flesh off. It's, yeah, it's just ripping skin. So I imagine. No, I, th I think that's dead. great that like she was able to come back at the end, even though she was converted, and and just do one final little act of of redemption. Quaff, 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 quaff. They are quaffing at us. Quaff them back! Quaff them back! <laughs> the biggest couple of gripes that I have is with Rose's exit. Because she... Like, the Doctor tries to do the whole thing again, like he did at the end of the last series, where he sends her away, traps her yeah. with, with her family. And he's like, no, you'll be safe, you'll stay there. And she goes, oh no, you don't, because she's still wearing the thing, comes back again. Yeah. And it's a very emotional moment. But then it's it's the big clampy things that were established the in the magnets. last episode, the magnetrons. Yep. Uh, he brings two. So he's in the what, hope. Why does he bring two? See, I think he th he was like, maybe give a little bit of hope, maybe she'll come to me. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit convenient in that respect. Uh, there's two handily things to, to activate it. Yes. How was he planning on doing that? But you know, I'm still I'm cool with it because you get to have the big moment where like she slips off the thing, and of course she has <laughs> long to. screams. And, like, and you hear the thing as well, like whenever she pushes the little stick forward, it goes online and locked. And it's like why didn't you lock it before? The computer says no. Idiot. <laughs> but then the the real egregious bit is you get the slow motion. No, where she's getting talent nearly like loses his voice. Going, ah! Ah! Then the dad. Ah pops up at the point where everything's getting sucked through, right? He's at the hell mouth itself. J jumps in and holds that position. Bullshit. 
Why didn't he get sucked in immediately? Ah, uh, fuck him. That's it, because the doctor, the fucking writer's tree, one day we'll have to bring Rose back, so fuck it. All the bullshit works out, it's gone. Don't question it, that's basically it. It's like they went, yeah, it's just fuck, we, can, we, we don't know how to end this. Utter bullshit. Stick like, him there, he'll just teleport away. But surely wouldn't he just go, ah, I get sucked in too. But see, we've seen that, and that's slow motion. That wasn't slow motion though. But they want you to make think it's slow bullshit. motion. Bullshit. But that's what they no, want you to think. No, no, no. That's wank. what they want Absolute you to think. Wank. Absolute wank. Absolute <laughs> wank. So, wank and So she gets stuck in there, and then of course you do the whole bullshit thing where it's like up against the wall. Oh, her makeup in that moment, dude. Yeah, this was rough. That was like, rough. Yeah. Yeah. How much like water they throw in her eyes? To Although, make her cry. In all fairness, they do make her look amazing. You know, when she wakes up in the in the fucking sexy house. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the wonder I, house. I, yeah, like, I've never seen a woman wake up and look that fucking good looking. Yeah, no. If if you if your lady friend wakes up like that, she's a wizard. I, I marry that. <laughs> That's what I would say. Yeah. And again, it's more it's that fairy tale shit creeping in, where you, like she wakes up and goes like, I had that dream. <laughs> Oh, your mom's gay. <laughs> oh, I'm gay. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's, no, it is it's nice. Kind of does. Uh, yeah. You like fairy tales? Uh, Why? Uh, it's romantic. Uh, Fuck. Me. Shouldn't be romantic though. Why? It's fucking shit. But that the. the Dude, the entire time since no 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 since no 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 we're going down this road since the time tenant appeared in this they were leading this all up for him to be with her no they were leading up for Rose to go I want your dick and for him to go you are like a pet to me put put bye but that's what it's like like time lords can't have relationships with humans I know but the fucking school reunion explains it why. You age and you rot and you decay. Yeah, maybe he's, just maybe he's into gone. that shit, you know. That's just fucked up. Yeah, well, that's the doctor but for you. But that's the point, though. It doesn't last. That, that's like having a relationship with your dog. Dog's <laughs> fucked after about 12 years. You have to live for about 70 or 80 if you're lucky. Get a new dog. Exactly. So why the fuck would he sp spend time falling over the road? I don't know. Maybe he's Bull like... <laughs> shit. Maybe put some space jam in her nah, and makes her live forever. That. Fuck that. No way. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, so like they like they made up on and it has to be fucking bad wolf. <laughs> oh, of course it fucking does. <laughs> of course it's bad wolf, Bay. Wouldn't be fucking torchwood tits or fucking Saxon shambles. No, it would have to be <laughs> bad wolf, Bay. Saxon shambles. Or bees disappearing hotel and hospital. No, it would have to be get fucked lane. <laughs> 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 or what uh, Dalek and something uh, uh, Dalek all strand in some fucking wank and uh, and they do the whole fucking bullshit thing like they say the little goodbyes and all and like tenants a hologram even though the wind on the beach is making his hair move Doctor Who logic that's, that's some fucking hologram you got there by yeah you're still just an image although the wind can affect your hair time or technology an, that's an oddly detailed hologram uh, <laughs> Tell me and the fucking like the whole family's there and shit and she's like oh I'm working in the shop again and he believes it he's oh, like yeah, you're worth fuck all you, you yeah just back to normal I buy that shit by the way I'm also pregnant ah uh, not really <laughs> my yeah. ma's oh, knocked up a dick and, and, uh, <laughs> and it's a fucking ending dude what Jesus ending? Christ chip in chip just in, instantly yeah, gets in. over it and fucks up yeah chip in like he, chip meanwhile in. he's standing there going yeah. like uh, as he's fucking off to get Chippy. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm out. <laughs> no, it should have just been. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. And I love you as a friend too. Bye. <laughs> oh, I mean, I. I <laughs> yeah. That's the equivalent of Tinder. Mm. Nope. <laughs> I thought it would be fucking great if you never saw Rose again. Wouldn't and, and, that be and fucking that's brilliant? How you left her? Yes. Crying on a beach. I would have loved that. Yeah. In another universe, I would have clapped. I would have given it flipping star, star, perfect performance. Yeah, because no. they were talking about doing a, a CBBC series, Rose Tyler Earth Defense. I would have hung myself. Yeah. I literally would. And it's about her and Mickey and everyone. No. In the no. World. Thank Christ that was put in the Rose bin. Rose Tyler Earth Defense. I'd shoot it. I'd show what we got instead. Sir James Smith. Fuck yes. Yeah. Yes. 
If that one, oh, oh no, why? Why is it happening? And by the way, yes, we know there's a new K9 TV series coming, so shout. Um, yeah. I do love the fact that straight away Rose is irrelevant. Yeah. New companion. We do get the post credit scene. No, oh, yes. Which is basically just got some take on. Hi, I'm Donna. <laughs> And that's it. You kidnapped me, you fucker! Oh, and the princess is Rose. Oh! <laughs> I Talk to a friend of mine, bang! Shit, bang! <laughs> I can't be killed by conventional weapons. <laughs> <laughs> that fucked me up the first time I saw that. What's that? The, the fucking bride and the TARDIS. I thought it was a ghost or some shit. <laughs> a spooky I don't know what the fuck it was. It, it, it made me go, what the fuck is this? I loved it. I love the fact is that it shows how irrelevant Rose is. Yeah. You have all this build up with war and jam Literally and stuff. The next I love you. Arrives. Don't get fucked, new companion. Yeah, eat a dick. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This is brilliant. <laughs> Lol, psych. <laughs> <laughs> so, I absolutely loved it. So, overall, final thoughts. On all fairness, I love this. It's still one of the best in my eyes as like a two part. Not, well, not two part. Uh, just a finale. Yeah. But the one thing that really makes this cements it. I, like, there's a couple of things where I wish oh. that. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Do, did it die? Yeah, it's gone. Ah, oh, did the battery fuck up? Battery died. You bastard! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it's the camera. It's a. Yeah. Do you, have you got another or do you want to leave it? Or just... just ca uh, camera uh, one's fucked. Hi, camera. camera two! Yeah. Uh, oh, that's what you should do, right? So our camera's fucked up, so you come over here and, like, talk into that camera. Hold on. <laughs> I got my... <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hi! Uh, I'm not in this angle. Uh, oh, this is an emergency angle. Ha. Um, what was I saying again? Something about the end of the episode so we can end it. Oh, fuck yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> No, in all fairness, I, I loved, I loved it. Uh, I was a wee bit disappointed with the whole one-sided Cyberman fight thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, love the fact that Rose is gone for now. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was nice. It was nice to be saying. It was, it, it was a nice little final series to jam biscuits. But now I'm going to go back into the East for now. Yeah. Fuck it. Um... <laughs> I only figure saying this is the last fucking episode. Uh, uh, hello! <laughs> uh, I thought this episode was absolutely class. I really liked it. I loved it whenever I was a kid and when it first came out. I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the score. I swear to fuck. You, you know. You have to. You, uh, you, you, you have no, I, to. I think this is one of, the, one of the best series finales ever. The action's fantastic. The drama's fantastic. The emotion of it is great. Rose is gone. I know. It's great. So, of course, great. this episode gets a 7 out of 10. Fuck off! <laughs> this is a 10. This has to be a 10. Yeah, Don't a fuck yeah, with me. 10 out of 10. It's 10 out of 10. You've heard that now, and you can't edit yeah. that shit out. What, what are you getting? 10. 10. Fucking 10 all the way. Yeah. Rose is gone. I don't have to deal with her at all. Yeah. Donna's introduced. She's Donna's one of introduced. Companions. And, and, my bae. Series 3. Yeah. This, this is the golden years. Like, this was the golden series for me. I'm excited. So excited. Right, um, if you have any thoughts or opinions on Doomsday, there's the comment section. Go wild! There. Uh, but for us, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Nice no, broken. It's 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new one. We'll, we'll get a new uh, one for that. that. Right, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Bye, Saber Moon. Yes, my Oh! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so 10 out of 10. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode review. Another thing that we must do. What's that? that we forgot to do it last that? time. Is an overall series 2. That was great. Right. Back up all the shit. No, seriously, like, like, like. Right, okay. Really quickly. Keeping this as quick as I can. The first half is stronger than the second half. I think around the time of Idiot's Lantern is when it starts to 
pit let go off. I know a lot of people like the U2 part of it. That's grand. Yeah. For me, I wasn't a big fan of them. They were still the strongest out of that block of four. Mm -hmm. um, even though you give Love and Monsters five out of ten. Well, that's in the middle. Uh, yeah, mm, uh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, the finale saves it. I think yeah, series I two think, is, yeah. is a pretty strong season. Um, my favourite episode is probably Girl in the Fireplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, school Reunion. School Reunion, Girl in the Fireplace is great. I love the Cyberman two-parter. Yes. I love this series finale as well. Oh, beautiful. Um, New Earth is all right. It's there to, to, to make a purpose. It's the just Christmas there. special is pretty weak. Yeah. Um, and the, the worst, most unforgivable episode is Fear Her. That that's name the shall worst that, episode. That tanks it, dude. By far, it's like, the worst one. If we had the Stephen Fry one, I yeah. think this would have it would have been balanced. But we'll never know. That's, that's it's a mystery we don't know. Yeah, we'll never know. Um, but yeah, uh, and Love and Monsters is just a, an anomaly of an episode. Yeah. So yeah, I like series two. Would you recommend it? Yes. You would recommend. I would it. recommend series two. I think the f they've they're still trying to find their footing with more fun than two. If you think about it, because like this is the next leap up yeah. in Doctor Who. And if you think about it again, it's another regeneration for the show because it's a new Doctor, so technically it is another restart. And I would even give it at it's exper experimental. They're experimenting with a few things. They've, yeah. they've they've hit bottom and up rocky roads, but yeah. I think based on memory, season three is <sighs> vastly better. <sighs> I do enjoy series four as well, mm. um, but yeah, no series two. I definitely recommend. Yeah, I would recommend. I would say that you know if you're if you're one of those really hardcore ones that love to binge watch stuff and yeah, yeah, go through it. But for me, if I was just like bra you know, grazing through it, I would skip fear here. Fear her. There's, there's skip no, fear no her. No in it. Do you know what? I would actually say watch Love and Monsters if you've never seen it before. You really do, yeah. Because it's a fascinating little thing, and it, it provokes such wildly different reactions from everyone. Yeah, you always have a debate with it. Yeah. No matter what, but fear her. There's nothing. Fear her is is the ultimate skip fest. The U two parter, I would say, watch the second half. Don't watch the first half. Because the, yeah, the, the first part of it, they explain all what happened in the first Pretty part. Much, so yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, my my most recommended episode would have to be Girl in the Fireplace. I think it's a phenomenal piece of television. I would say yes. I would say that one there and School Union. That's School Union because yeah. we have to respect Sarah Jane Sarah Smith, Jane Smith. Yeah. and it brought us hope. Anthony Head. <gasps> oh, dude, the fuck. Oh man. my god, we missed it the whole time for School Union. What? But <laughs> well, we didn't know at the time. We didn't know it at the time. <laughs> No, no, no. In all fairness, like there's, there's so many good moments in this, and I will say one thing. Like for me, and I know you've watched this multiple times. Oh God, over and over. Multiple again, yeah. times. I didn't have that luxury. Uh, like, so for me, this is like well, a lot of these are watching the second time. First time I ever seen them was when they were first released on TV, and then rewatched them again. And I have to say, it was an, it was a journey, and yeah. it, I enjoyed it. And I did. I, every, I could even say anything we do. I'm going. You know when you you watch it, you're like, oh, I really love this episode. It was amazing. And then you because you had the the little gla the glasses, yeah, the nostalgia glasses. On and there. then you watch it, you're like, oh, yeah, it's kind of crap and didn't hold up pretty yeah, well. Yeah, this did. Yeah, for this the majority did. of it, I would say it yeah. held up pretty well. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to see season three. Yeah, I hope yes. I hope it stays. Absolutely. I hope it doesn't like ruin it for me. But yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching our reviews of, there he is, of uh, Doctor My Who Series 2. Uh, yeah, so next we are taking a break because we're absolutely yes. wrecked. We, no, in all fairness, like, not, no lies and, and, and like, for you guys who just see them every day, they're coming out, like, we jump from Series 11 straight into doing series this. Series 1 and then... Like, you've done the 13 yeah. episodes, there's what... There's 13 episodes we've done. Plus all the extra stuff for Patreon. Yeah. Plus like watching them live and then having to edit through that as well. So it is, it's, and then that's on top of all the rest of our work. That's on top of our personal lives. Mm -hmm. That's on top of uh, other videos that we make both for Anthony's channel and for my own channel as well. Uh, Plus the summer too, we need a little bit of downtime. <laughs> and, and the worst thing is, like, yeah, we're, we're wrapping up Doctor Who right now, but we've still so much more stuff to film. We've got the drop zone. In the meantime. Have still that to do. Uh, we have Antwin Anarchy. Antwin Anarchy stuff coming on as well. Yes, mm -hmm. kiddies, we have Antwin Anarchy stuff. Yeah. You can relax. 
Uh, uh, yeah. And I've got uh, other projects outside of it as well, which uh, I can't really talk about, but can't tell, um, can't, can't cast like I have different stuff going on uh, too. Uh, and so do you as well. Yeah, and so it's I, just a constant nightmare. I will say one thing is, you know, support us, uh, be patient with us, and to keep uh, while we're taking a break, rewatch the, the reviews. We'll yeah. rewatch the live reviews until we come back. And I mean, it's not like we're, we're going to be gone forever or anything like that. No, no, no. There's no. still going to be stuff going up on the channel. I have a couple of videos edited, like just extra little bonus things and stuff that will go up on the channel in the meantime, just while we take a break. Yeah. And we should be back. I'm not going to put a date on no, it. No, I never do that. <laughs> but I'd say a month, six weeks, maybe more. Maybe more. I tell you what, like when you see an outlet, like put your bell icon. Is it bell? Bell things? icon, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put that on if you see something yeah. up here. I'll post an update. I'll post an update. Yeah, you're all that media yeah. stuff. Like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all in the. In the uh, yeah, in the yeah. Doobly-doo. Tinder and all that shit. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> swipe right. <laughs> I thought right was bad. Yeah. Why would they swipe right when they meant to swipe? Because I'm disgusting. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay! <laughs> You don't get that reference. Rainbow flag. Go and find items. Yes, that's right. But yes. Um, wild. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the magical journey so far with us. Oh, so tired. Oh, so warm. Yeah, some fuck summer. Yeah, fucking summer's mad. I just want rain and coldness. But we will be back at some point. We will do. Well, shall we make this promise? We'll do series three of Doctor Who before series twelve. Oh, that's a challenge now. Well, it's thirteen weeks. We can do it. Where's the gun? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 in all fairness, yeah, because uh, like, like, for me, this is the, the pinnacle of Doctor Who to be. Yeah. So I have to be true to the, myself. Th this is Doctor Kino. Fuck yes. Yeah. This is, and if anyone, anyone says that this is shit, I swear, if you go any... You're going to go Jen, and you, Bob. You're allowed this. to get nines and tens. Yeah. Any lore, I will slap you. You will see it on the channel. I will pick something up and fire it at you. Uh, there's, there's a couple of episodes. Fuck off. Know. There's no. They're all good. There's, there's a couple I don't like. What? But what anyway, ones? Oh, you'll have to find out. Anyway, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Thanks for watching. Please bye, do support Felicia, us on Patreon. Joey and, and Bob. Samwise. And, and Samwise. Yeah. <laughs> see, you, see you, Bob. Samwise is fine. He's fucking Jeez. mad. Oh, and of course, big thank you to everyone who was a fan and uh, joined in. Like uh, Alex, Owen, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Will obviously Will. as well for the Absorb Love episode too. And I think that is about it. And you never know, there'll be many, many more cameos and... and or there might not be. Bye! <laughs> be surprised! Dakadaho! Is that not working again? Oh, it's working! Yay! Touch ship! You know I can't <laughs> smile well I haunt you. I broke it in. <laughs> oh no, it's ruined. <laughs> well, we'll sell up on eBay for 2p. I'll pass on that or... I'll tell you what I'll uh, do. Authentic I, no, pass. I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> I'll put that into my bath water and then sell it. Make a fortune. Yeah, genuine uh, tears uh, of, a, of a fan. Of think it. like a fucking tent, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, see you in a couple Bye. of weeks. Bye! Oh.